My name is Shiella Rowe, and I'm a mosaic artist and creative arts therapist. I feel like I have always been a maker of things. When I was younger, I did a lot more dancing and performing, and visual art wasn't something that I really saw myself being good at. And it was when I was in grad school that I was introduced to visual art making more as a part of the therapeutic process that I was learning in the creative arts therapies. The art therapist I worked with quite often would use mosaic making as one of the activities that she would do with the patients. And so that was my first introduction into the art form. And what I saw in it initially was this idea that you can have pieces that on their own may seem scattered and chaotic and disconnected, disjointed, but then when you put with intentionality those pieces together and start to create a form or a structure or a composition of some kind, you're really honoring the experience of brokenness by not trying to make it not broken, but maybe choosing to take that brokenness and create something new. I grew up in California, that's where I was born, and also East Tennessee. We bought this old house in 2002, and it needed a lot of work. I bought 30 pounds of tiny tile that comes in mixed bags, and I just sat and sorted all of the tiles, turning them over, and sorted all of the colors into little Ziploc bags so I knew what my palette was. And then once I knew how much of each color I had, I drew out the composition of a tree and a sky and a sort of sunset behind it. The result is that we have this really vibrant and fun kitchen counter that people love. When we have people over, the first thing they do is just rub their hand across the surface. And I think that that is something that's so beautiful about Mosaic, that it is so tactile. The texture of it, I think, is very soothing for people to be able to feel and touch art in a way that you can't a painting or something else. I would definitely say I'm more of a self-taught artist. Most of my visual making has been just my own exploration with different materials. In mosaic making, you can use a lot of different materials to create the pieces and parts of that mosaic. I've used everything from a tiny tile that's already glazed and shaped into squares or triangles or circles. I've also used dishes that have broken and will fragment them into tiny little pieces. And stained glass is a really great material to use for mosaic. And then beyond those pieces and parts that are being put together, you need to have some kind of adhesive. If you're doing a piece that's gonna be indoors, you can use a PVA glue like Elmer's or Wellbond. If you're going to do an outdoor piece, then you might want to use a thin set mortar or something that's made for being exposed to heat and cold and wet. I also use snippers, which are made to cut tile pieces or glass pieces into different shapes and sizes. And then very important, if you're working with any of the sharper objects that you're breaking into pieces, wearing good gloves that protect your hands. One of the projects that I got to work on was funded by the City of Chattanooga, the Public Art Department, and it was adding on to the mosaics that go around the buildings and the picnic shelters for the Tennessee River Park. The project started 30-some years ago. All of the early mosaics that were on there were done by other artists. When they were building new sections of the river walk for Blue Goose Hollow and the Whelan Trailheads, they needed a mosaic artist to come in and do all of that so that it looked like one continuous river park with that continuity of the mosaic fish in there. I don't know how I could 
ever imagine myself not as an artist, as a creative thinker, as someone who engages in the world through metaphor and symbol and shape and form and color. It is from the very depth of my soul who I am and the way I experience the world.